Okay, we're gonna be opening the other box here. You guys already seen the two boxes, what is there? And let's open the third box and see what we have here, live at the, the channel in Minnesota. Bringing you more views, um, gadgets. And let's see what we have here at a time. All right, it's just a custom, um, Packed and whatever and you guys can see in and let's check it out and see what is in there well basically you can see what is there like a kind of styrofoam thing set up and uh, everything is just um, being protected just a short distance it's not far away from my state and uh, some neighboring streets from me state from me so it's just, it's so about, um, it's just because of the holiday, Labor Day, but uh, it just would have been a day because the uh, the vendor um, just uh, told me you're going to get it the next day. But um, because of the holiday, everything rushed within the uh, the Monday and, uh, sorry, and the, the, the Tuesday, sorry, and everything just being so too much. And I think it's traffic. So guess what we have here? This is a soft cushion. Woo wee! Look what we have here, guys. Look what we have here. Look what we have here. The M M P Mini Magnum Panel M M P. Finally, he's here. Someone was asking me on the channel if I'm gonna. Um, ever get the MMP so I just answer your question my friend and check this out there's a manual you know it's an open box it's a display panel no 100% brand new but they use it as a display and uh, wired up the charge inverter into it and um, all the other gears just to display and see how everything goes Right up here, that was gonna be the M E A R C the M E R C fifty and uh M E A R C fifty remotes gonna be up here and you have a two two hundred and fifty amp breaker and um see that so this is the off button the off position, the on position. So see, you can see like it's really tripped. So gets in the middle, gets in the middle, then push. So I got two 63 amps here. You know, I can put a 63 like if it's a uh, outbacks. I can put an outback like a 63 like the F FM 60s. I can put two of them here if I want, because the 63 amp is just for that. Or I can use the classic um, 250, which they are 62 amps, so 63 just exactly. But because they are 250, uh, uh, classic 250, I can use these breakers here. See that? Because they are just 150 volts. I can for the 200. I checked. But um, it says um, because it can go all the way up to 200 and you are just between 100 and something, you are still below the threshold. So I think you are fine according to spec uh, specification, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I have breakers for this. I have um, breakers that I can put in here for the classic uh, 250 okay all right so 250 to 300 um, max I have breakers for that so I'm not worried about it you guys watch that video on the description on the playlist and here is the inverter because a 30 amp inverter and uh, since it's a magnum um, uh, 30 amp on each leg so the inverter AC so if you want to just charge on one 
then you can use the uh, uh, one leg charge and if it's two legs you have to have 30 amp on each which I have not a space here and these are uh, um, uh, square D breakers here you use for a regular house so here is a bypass so that's for the inverter if I can flip it over maybe it's gonna be better so is um, the AC inverter AC bypass so switch on to bypass the inverter if you wanna just maybe you decide to charge your battery so maybe your batteries are low you can do the bypass and uh, you know this thing is just gonna go either or one way or the other see that see that goes either or so they will never be on the same on position so there's a safety mechanism they put here so you can go either or or if you push this one the other one is going to go down so you can put them all down it's fine but they will never go all the way together at the same time that's why this kind of swivel thing is here to protect so here is the AC the inverter AC out so the output is here so if you look at it the AC out is the bypass so this is the AC in you bring the AC in AC out the AC coming from the grid comes in here goes to the inverter and there is a bypass you can just AC bypass you bypass uh, switch on to bypass inverter so you can probably the inverter you want to work on it you have some other things to do and you want to just isolate um, the inverter you can go back on bypass your entire house it depends what your house can take if you have two of these then you can bypass the entire inverter and you can go back on grid directly on grid without the inverter is going to be there but it's just a bypass so these are deal with the inverters and these are 250 you can see a 250 250 amps so that's from magnum well i just decided to show you guys and um there is another surprise on the way which um you guys can see you just saw the three boxes uh video the uh, what's in the box so that's what it is so what's gonna happen now I'm gonna be showing you um, not a box something that is coming again that is gonna be part of this deal live in Minnesota JW Solo USA so right now I can able to use this guy with my MS 4024 so let me take you back to the command center room so that you can guys can see exactly how this guy the inverter is going to be sitting on top here sit up here and this is going to be the load center see this is a load center the ac and dc load center let's go check it out inside tada freedom at last free at last so that top i was talking about is going to sit right there it's going to anchor right here that inverter is going to sit here and you guys have seen the 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 hood the back plates gonna be back here and gonna be the hood sitting there so that's gonna be a complete system now this is the one I was talking about the MEARC 50 is gonna sit on that spot I was telling you about it's gonna sit right there flush it I'm gonna take these mounting is not gonna be part of it this guy is gonna be inside that load center okay that's the battery monitor kit the BMK so it's gonna be tying into the shunt so and the Magnum this one here is gonna be anchor on the side of the box see there's a conduit here knockout you can take out and put there is another one here which the the load center already have so that's gonna give a complete system that is gonna be live here it's set up this one is going to be on the side of the uh, load center of the Magnum because the Magnum, this Magnum is going to sit 
on the load center here and this guy this guy here is going to be sitting on the side of the load center with the conduit knockout you know and uh attached to this is going to be a giant system just like uh we have for the outback so this is the plan and this is how things work and i'm um, really grateful and thank thankful for everything and everything has come to reality thanks for watching love you guys all sorry for a long video but i have to show you stay tuned for more the surprise that is coming back live at the station